My name is Byington Sims. I have the company Aquatronics, and I build these machines to detox the body. And uh, I get wonderful results from people using them. You know, they you pull all the toxins out of the way, and and uh, the body will heal itself of many things. Mm -hmm. uh, what that does is the electric current breaks the free radical bonds. The cathode is a, is a negative, it's the source of the electrons, and the anode is the drain for the electrons. So it moves through the body, breaking the free radical bonds, releasing the toxins into the water. And uh, people have actually colored the water, and then I put a clarifier in to settle the, uh, everything to the bottom. and. I had people put an inch deep of sediment in the water. Oh man! Settle to the bottom. I put quite a lot of sediment in here that one time. Maybe that was just all the dirt on yeah. my body. <laughs> that just might have been me. Okay, so uh, I'll. So here's the here's the actual galvanic bath itself. I'm gonna hand you the phone bind in, okay. and when you grab it, um, and you look at me with it, click just touch the middle of the screen when it's like when you're adjusted to where you want it to be. All right. Just touch the middle of the screen like. God, I can like hardly that. see Not this. Not that red button, but the middle of the screen like this. Okay. It's kind of like... I can hardly see it. You had a little message come up. Oh, yeah. That's out exposure. It's all good. It's good? Yep. So then I hit the button You're, again? No, 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 no. Don't touch the button. Did you touch the button? No. Okay. <laughs> We're so good. We're it's good. It's recording now? <laughs> yeah. So... This right. itself is the anode, isn't it? That's the anode. And that's a silver... 999 pure silver, one ounce, troy ounce silver piece in and there. And it works really good. It's the thing you put up to your body, to the different parts of your body, and it shocks you. Like I can show you yeah. how, like, he has a pulser on it that makes the muscles contract. So as I put it up to my forearm, it's causing my fingers to, like, I, like, I can't help but <laughs> do that. And it actually feels really massaging and good. This is the anode. No, that's the cathode. Or cathode, excuse me cathode and it works basically it moves the current and then it's all hooked up to a battery um, if you want to walk over there and look at it all go right. for it so this is the machine here and the the pulser interrupts the current so that it uh, helps to like a snapping whip or a jackhammer breaks the free radical bonds faster uh-huh. So this thing, you basically bring it up to the different parts of your body. Yeah. And it will, uh, it'll pull things out. It's very notable. I'm already beginning to see, well, it's already pulled oil off. I mean, that's for sure. Like, it might have just been the water, though. <laughs> Pulling oil off my skin. But. Uh, the water already is showing a little bit of cloudiness. Yeah. I was working on my feet with it. Your feet, a lot of toxic crap builds up in your feet. Yeah, I know it. It really does. There's a lot of pain people have in their feet. And well, those ionic foot baths are for that purpose, but they're, they're very limited compared to this. This pulls the toxins from all over your body, not just from your feet. Mm -hmm. So you may pull the toxins out of your feet, and then more settles down after a while. Exactly. That's why you have to, like, work. I work from the bottom up, kind of yeah. just like you do with the lymphatic massage. Right. Um, Where the foot bath, the, you're not in the path of the current, so it's not releasing, it's not breaking the free radical bonds. It's just releasing the stored toxins in the bottom of your foot. Right. Ah, the toes are always sensitive. Ooh, they're like stingy. Mm -hmm. But in a good way. <laughs> it stings, and if it gets too stingy, you just back up and slow, slowly move with it. Man, that sun is hot. I can feel it's making me like sweat and detox pretty hard because I'm in a yeah. hot tub in the hot sun. This is generally yeah. not how you do it, but whew, it feels good anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's working. So yeah, this is the basics of the galvanic bath. Yeah, I've had people use this thing that had aches and pains for years and their pains literally go away. And they stay away in m many cases for quite a while before they need to do it again. But I recommend to like do a routine at least once or maybe twice a week 
to maintain your health because you always accumulate more toxins you know faster than your body can get rid of them so this helps this pulls the toxins out into the water rather than going to your liver and kidneys and making you sick bubbles <laughs> if you want to get the uh, video is the video just on this yeah well oh. it's on you can cycle it around do whatever you want ah the right arm that must have sore oh my god i'm sweating i might have to jump out for a, at a, a for a short amount of time to just stop being <laughs> so ridiculously hot yeah and like splash myself with some of your rainwater or something right kinda. let's see what the temperature is here it's hot. 103 not too bad it's just my body yeah my body's hot it's like uh well it's a hot day and you got hot water so it's gonna make you sweat more than normal <laughs> yeah it's good though but it's good because you feel like all this stuff's like draining out of my head i'm like yeah oh. as you move what's below what's above will drain mm-hmm yeah, so uh, how long ago did you make this galvanic bath? Well, it was about 2007 that I did it. I first uh, discovered it right around 2001 or so when I had uh, injured my fingertip and I, did, I just wrapped it up and I didn't take care of it right away. And when I unwrapped it, it was gray green, so I knew that was gang green getting started. So I went to the emergency room and, and uh, little town of Benson and there was no crowd there I was the only one there except for the technician and he said I was gonna lose part of my finger and I got osteomyelitis and oh wow gave me the shot of antibiotics and of gave me a prescription to get more well I tried taking them but I didn't they were starting to make me sick and all that so I said fuck Seriously? it I'm not gonna screw it I'm not gonna take any more <laughs> of this and so then I uh, decided to try the, the galvanic bath experiment. I got the idea from an old sci-fi movie. So I said, well, it's time to try this. So I got a, you know, a bucket of water and a stainless steel spoon and some wire and a piece of copper pipe, hooked that to the negative, hooked the spoon up to the positive, dunked my hand in the water, uh, and then my other hand held onto the copper pipe and, I mean, it took only 20 minutes for the whole abscess to come out, and you know, 20 minutes later, it was a normal size and a nice pink color. Wow. So I definitely knew I wasn't going to lose my fingertip. Right. So then I started building real simple machines with a battery and uh, silver electrodes, and then later on, I added the pulse circuit because I found out that that made it work a little better. Right. For you know, it's like a kind of a jackhammer or, or a snapping whip effect to break the bonds and uh, so where you you feel it'll it'll locate where the poison where the toxins have settled and you'll feel it pulling and the pull can be anything from a a, a pounding sensation where and your muscles will be contracting expanding and contracting which is good for the muscles it exercises them and that helps to break loose the toxins. Right. And the other feeling is a burning sensation, slight burning sensation on the skin. And then there's a deep, achy sensation when you've got, you know, problem areas, a lot of toxins in an area, like the stuff that settles in your joints, causing achiness. That's usually in your uh, hips and shoulder blade area. Yeah. Right. And the head, honestly, man. The head. Oh, the head really can bite hard. Yeah, it was biting hard the other day, and after I was done, I felt like all this craziness was draining my head. The next day I woke up and felt really clear. I was like, wow. Oh, wow. Do your head again. <laughs> I'm a, I plan to. I, I'm working my way up. All right. Oh, I'm working on the liver right now. Ooh. And so you go all over your body, and you feel where it pulls. It's letting you know something is there that shouldn't be there, so it pulls it out. When you get all the toxins out of the way, then the body can heal itself of many things without any drugs or any of that. The only thing it won't take care of is that if your problem is caused by a deficiency, it's not going to do anything for that. Yeah, generally, yeah. if you just eat fruits and vegetables, you won't have deficiencies. And you if you eat fruits and vegetables and sea vegetables here and there. Yeah. And you're good. 
And so if you've got a, something, a problem, and you treat it with this and it only partially uh, is resolved, then that means you've probably got a deficiency in addition to a toxicity causing your problem. And so the only way your body can heal it is to supply the uh, deficient, you know, fulfill, fulfillment of the deficiency. And then your body can heal itself as you pull the toxins out. And the sky looks so beautiful today. I know that's off topic, but... So I, I had a guy uh, had an infected knee joint replacement, and the doctors worked on it for three years and gave up finally. We were going to chop his leg, and he ordered one of my machines and had two weeks to use it, and it cleaned up all the MRSA in his knee joint. Now the doctors had taken the knee joint out and put a concrete spacer so that the ligaments wouldn't shrink, because they said they couldn't uh, you couldn't treat the infection with the metal in there. And there was a guy that another guy that had the same problem. They didn't take the the metal joint out and put a spacer in, and he he tried it, but it didn't work. They ended up cutting his leg off. But any kind of a festering wound, or sore, this uh, will immediately disinfect it. And then your body can heal it up. Go behind the clouds, son, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, the sun is so hot. Well, um, well that's, that's about all there is to it. Yeah. <sighs> okay, should I stop? Sure. Okay.